Yo, what is going on guys? It is DSG here coming today with another MLB The Show 20 video and today we're going to be talking about how to get stubs in MLB The Show 20. This is like episode Hello, 20. America, I'm Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to the show. Dude, these people always interrupt me. Anyways, this is like episode 20 of this series. We're going to jump right into it. We're going to be going over the event that just came out, I think, yesterday or the day before. Depends on when you're seeing this. So let's jump right into it. It is the signature, the signature event one, I guess you could say. Uh, you can only use signature series players, gold, silver, and common players. That's it. Max team overall is 95. The minimum is 62, but no one's really going to use a 62 overall team, I don't think. So, uh, yeah, let's jump right into this. The first thing, we're just going to go over all the rewards. So, yeah, let's go. We got four standard packs. In case you don't know, uh, I, I say it every video. The average value of a standard pack is a little bit under 300 stubs. So, there's a lot of stubs right there just for winning your first four games. You got a headliner pack. Okay. Nice. A lot of headliner packs. I like to see that. Bonnins, I have a pack. As you guys know the story for me, these things are trash. Actually, no. I pulled a diamond from one of these the other day. So, you know what? I take that back. They're not terrible. They're just they're just okay. You got 10 to show packs. Easy. I mean, that's for 20. 20 wins. That That's actually really good. Only three inning games, so that's a huge W. Another headliner pack, that Rod Carew. I didn't even, I didn't even know there's a Rod Carew in the game. I'm going to have to look at that in a second. I can't check. Okay. Pee Wee Reese is the 30 win reward. Okay. Pee Wee. How, how do you feel? Okay. He only goes for, on average, 35K. That's going to change probably when a lot more people start finishing this event. He's probably going to sit around 20K. But for a signature series player, you can lock him in for the chop voucher. So honestly, for 30 wins, not that bad. You got another headliner pack, Alan Trammell. A headliner pack. And then you have two random ones right here. This can be from set 1 through 31. So any of the guys that were in any of those headliners, you can get them. And then uh, we got Madison Bumgarner right here. This is the main guy of the event. Card actually looks pretty good. It's pretty. I think it's a 1-1 one -run replica of the one last year. So I'd say this is a W. The card last year was very good. Uh, he has a, obviously we know Mad Bum has a great selection of pitches, but most importantly, he has a good speed differential between his fastball and his slowest pitch, his curveball. So, Mad Bumgarner definitely is usable, especially with the break. The slider is going to be lethal. Uh, yeah, I, I would say Mad Bumgarner is a W. Definitely say he's a W. Then we have just a standard Ducks on the Pond pack. Uh, these are just guys that you'd put in the voucher, to be honest. If you get. Any, any of them, just take whatever you need for the voucher. Unless you don't need it, just sell it. 20 more packs right there. 20 standards, obviously. Another 5 bonus I have packs. 6,000 stubs, not bad. That's 70 wins, that's a lot. And then, uh, obviously, the main the main Ducks on the Pond pack. Ducks on the Pond Elite pack. If you get any of these, sell them. Except for Chap. Actually, any of these guys are usable, to be honest. I think the worst one is Joe Adele. But he's still not bad at all. Chapman is, in my opinion, the best one here. If you look at Chapman, I just like him because of his quirks. His quirks are incredible with the outlier one and outlier two. I wish he just had outlier one. That would probably be make him a little bit better, but still, Chapman is insane. Ernie Banks is a good option too, though. We've already been over this before. I don't really need to say anything. This event is a W. They're probably going to release more rewards in the future. So uh, be on the lookout for those. It's probably when Signature 2 comes out on the 8th. So that's when there will be more rewards out in this event. Really quickly, I'll just break down the other like super quick ways to make stubs. You get 500 from this 1,000 right there, 250. You can get it from all the moments. I'm not going to go over the moments, but actually I will really quickly after I go over this John Lester one. Once again, you get 500, 100, 1,000, 250, 500 right there. And then over the moments really quickly before I end the video. I'm not going to do shots in this one because this is like a pre-recorded video. Uh, I actually got family coming over. So from the Lester one, you can get... Uh, 1,600 stubs and 1,550 stubs. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you all did enjoy it. If you did, please leave a like, comment down below. If you want to uh, get a shout-out in my next video, just comment on this video. I'll shout you out in the next video. So, uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. Madden video coming out later on today. And have a great rest of your day. Stay safe for me, and peace out.